All right, guys, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a video on Hilti's single-handed reciprocating saw versus DeWalt's single-handed reciprocating saw. Now, both of these are 12 volt tools. And I already did do a video between these and I believe the Hilti kicked the butt of the DeWalt, but I use a three amp hour battery and I use a four amp hour battery on the Hilti, but this time we're gonna use the, the new five amp hour uh, extreme battery on the DeWalt. And I've already proven in, many, in a couple of videos that the DeWalt five amp hour extreme battery actually does increase the performance of the tool. I want to see how well this actually performs with the five amp hour battery. And to do so, we will do this against the Hilti. So let's go over the specs of these and see what these could actually do against each other. All right, so first we'll do the DeWalt. This is a 12 volt brushless single-handed recip saw. This model number is DCS312, compact reciprocating saw, 12 volt system. This goes to 2800 strokes per minute. The battery is full. Battery is full. And so, yeah, so that is the DeWalt. It is a nice, these single handed reset saws are actually pretty nice to have. And so they do serve their own purpose. They do, uh, brands do make a uh, higher voltage one, DeWalt as well. DeWalt has the atomic single handed recip saw, but this is the DeWalt. You can, I believe you can get this over at Lowe's. All right, the next is the Hilti. This is model number SR2A12. 12 volt system, specs are on the bottom. All right, so this goes to 3000 strokes per minute. We will be using a four amp hour battery. Battery is full. And yeah, like I said, these do have a purpose and it, it's really nice to have like a compact single hand recip saw for small stuff. But in today's test, we're gonna see what the limits of these are. If we are gonna do stuff normally that would be done with uh, full size reciprocating saws with higher voltage. And let's see what these could actually do. All right, so they, they both do have the, the, the insert. The, they both have the insert collet to where you just twist it and it just goes in. Now this one, you can hear the difference in the speed. So that, that's, I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. Like I said, both batteries are full. We will do the Hilti first. Oh, and neither of them have an adjustable shoe. It's both stationary. Ready? Go. Time. And we are using, uh, we are using wood with nails. So we will, I will put a couple of nails in there and see how well these do again. All right, ready, go. Time. That was the DeWalt. Let's put two nails in here. One more. So first we're gonna, we are gonna use the same blade. Both of them are gonna get the same wear and tear. All right, so ready, go. Time, as you can see there are, there's right there still. All right, so DeWalt's turn, ready, go. Time. All right, let's move on to a pressure treated four by four. Actually, no, we are gonna do a pressure treated four by six. I wanna put these through the ropes. After this, we're gonna go to metal. All right, so the Hilti is next. Yep, and as you can see, it does fully extend over the four by six. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go.
Hilti did stop. Hilti did stop. I am gonna, I'm not going to fail it, but I'm going to put a strike against that. Hilti did stop. All right, let's continue. Time. You guys got to admit, a 12-volt single-handed reciprocating saw is taking out a 4x6. Pressure treated 4x6. That's why this channel loves 12-volt tools. These tools are very powerful for what they are. All right, it is DeWalt's turn next. Ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby, and it didn't stop. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's go over to metal. What we have here is a two and a half inch pipe. I have so many brand new Milwaukee uh, blades from that uh, the Black Friday holiday uh, pack out you know that they had for fifty bucks. I have so many blades from that sale. All right, so Hilti goes first. Battery check. Battery is still full. We will do a temperature reading at the end of this. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. It took it. It did take it a little bit to do the bot. Uh, the last uh, half inch. All right, so let's do the Dewalt next. All right, so ready, go. Let's do a quick temperature reading on the Hilti. 108. 108 is the highest for the Hilti. And uh, let's see what it is for the DeWalt. 
108, 99, 108, 107. Where's that? There we go. 108 and 107 for the DeWalt, so they actually both ran at around, around the same temperature. Not too shabby for 1202s, you guys. Not too shabby at all. All right, so as you guys can see, that 12 volt tools are extremely powerful for what they are now. If 12 volt tools can do that, it is a good line to get into. Now, that's why I say uh, a lot of companies really need to start making 12 volt lines, like a big variety of. Them. All right, so both Milwaukee and Dewalt made a 12 volt bandsaw that they both look cool, and I pr I haven't tested them out yet, but I do want to get them in the future. But when it comes to these saws, they're actually very powerful, and that's why I love 12 volt tools. That's why I love testing 12 volt tools out because for the size of the tool, and for what they are, they're very powerful. So that's why I highly recommend like uh, DIYers or even contractors that get 12 volt tools because they could get the job done in those, tight, uh, in those tight places that a bigger tool can't do and they're powerful enough to actually get the job, they're probably uh, powerful enough to get the job done. And so it's actually, I love a 12 volt line. Ryobi really needs to make a, a, a brushless 12 volt line of tool. They really do, they really do. But uh, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but as you can see, these are actually powerful recip saws, and I highly recommend you guys choose a platform that actually has these. So I got Tilty for, uh, from the Home Depot website, and I got the 12 volt, uh, I got the uh, DeWalt Extreme from Lowe's. You guys can get Hilti at Home Depot. Uh, it's just online only. So they actually have a huge variety of tools. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, the battery for the DeWalt's full and the battery for the, uh, and the battery for the Hilti is at three bars. So this is a four bar system. This is the three bar system. So they're probably about the same. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.